Hi, this is Mario Romero with Romero & Company at the Military Agency, your Phoenix Real Estate Connection. And thanks a lot for joining us uh, with our video today. Today is my pleasure to introduce Dave Weiss. He's the Executive Director of No Festival Required, a small local nonprofit here in the city. Steve, tell us about yourself, the history of the organization, and you know the purpose. Well, to start, we are a for profit business. You are okay? Yes, I work with nonprofits quite a bit, mm -hmm. um, but I have always you know, come uh, at this business as a, a for profit business of film programming. Um, I began in 2002 when I thought that this city could use something else in the arts um, as well as the fine arts that was going up on the wall, mm -hmm. the music that was happening in the different theaters, performance, everything was happening in downtown Phoenix except film. I, I know thought that's... that would be one thing that would be nice to have. I actually found a guy who was doing the show. It was one of these things where it's like, if you look, there's somebody trying it. Right. So I went and I supported his uh, theater quite a bit. I actually told him, you know, I'd like to help however I can. Do you know which theater that was? It was called The Monkey Show, and it was actually uh, right on Grand Avenue where Mel Gosa uh, studio is, the uh, Beatrice Moore space. It was Jeff Cochran, who okay. really was one of the, the strongest artists in the downtown for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So I said to Jeff, oh, I'd love to help you. And he said, what I need is content. I need films. I'm running out of stuff to show. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, I'm, I'm on it. I'll definitely do that for you. So what happened was, once I gathered all the materials together, he said, I'm leaving town, <laughs> I'm moving to Taos. He and, gave you, uh, so he gave you the reins to take and run with it, huh? And I told him in an email, I remember, this is uh, over 17 years ago, I said, the day that you come back and start this thing up again, I'll become an audience member, but in the meantime, I guess somebody has to do it. <laughs> So tell me about your background that got to, with your interest in this. What did you do prior, or what are you... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've always been interested in film as, as a vehicle for messaging, for being able to um, create an emotional response, mm -hmm. um, sometimes to direct action, you know. Right. And, and uh, as a photographer, I've been a photographer since I was in high school. Okay. And uh, worked in journalism, worked in commercial photography, um, you know, tried to uh, be an independent photographer in Phoenix uh, mm -hmm. for quite a long time. Um, from that, moved into location scouting and did that for about 20 years. Um, and in the process of that, I got very interested in what um, film could do in this town. Um, I started to meet more filmmakers working as a location scout. I started to meet more artists who were doing films, and it sort of all came together that way, really. But I, I think, I mean, I, I used to, you know, steal my dad's regular eight movie camera and, you know, run around the backyard filming. And, you know, I, I think I always loved film as a vehicle for, for expression. Now, how do, you, how do you feel a current situation is with films in our city? Because you have other organizations, you have one in Scottsdale, that does their festival, and you have Phoenix, and then you have Desperado, and now coming up, I think, is one in Peoria. Yes. So it's coming, it's becoming something out there that was not there 10 years ago. I swear today I read up about the Arizona Romanian Film Festival, and I was like, I mean, my wow. family's Romanian, maybe that's how it comes, <laughs> you know, but it was just like, Another film festival? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think it's great, you know, for, for what people want to do. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, you know, there's there's people who like to go out for an ice cream cone and there's people who like to go out for, a, you know, a six dip sundae. Well, know? it's like not much different than television. It becomes so much, such, so niched yeah. that you, if you really want something very, very specific, you may find a channel. That's all they do. Right, that's true. And, and I think that. You know, for what I try and do, mm -hmm. and why I consider myself essentially an anti-festival. Okay. Um, the the direction I have is is you have an audience, mm -hmm. 
you have a film and you have a venue. Okay. And it's like, it can be as simple as that. Um, you know, my experience has been helping filmmakers that maybe aren't as recognized as, you know, the traditional commercial market, finding venues that maybe, you know, are used for theater spaces or performance spaces mm -hmm. that I can then use as a theater space for film, bring, okay. bringing in equipment or working with them. Or, you know, many times the institutions like Phoenix Art Museum and, and Scottsdale Center yes. for the performing arts, where it's, it's a very elaborate, um, you know, recognized hall for screening films, but the things that I bring to them are maybe a little more unusual than the sort of classic documentaries that mm -hmm. they deal with. Um, I, I just think that... Uh, I don't know, I've seen some pretty strange things at the Phoenix Art Museum and exhibits. Like, so, I don't know if you can take it too far out, especially with the museum. Well, I, I, I had a reputation. No, okay. <laughs> I think, I think we, we, we changed that place an awful lot in the, like, six years that I was mm -hmm. programming there. And I, I, was, I was very excited about how um, the art museum actually... Receptive? They bent to the direction okay. when they saw uh, the results and the response. But yes, it was it was a learning curve for them as to what um, you know is is uh, provocative. And you're looking, and there are everybody, all these organizations are looking to bring in a younger demographic. Exactly. And exactly. what you're doing is catering to that demographic. They want something different. They literally contacted us. Well, I guess what was this now? 2004 or something like that and said, we want to youth up the Phoenix Art Museum. <laughs> and all I could think of was, well, I'm about 50 now, and my friend who I'm working with is about 46, and they want to youth it up. Well, okay. I just don't know. I was in an art organization, and in the last five years, they felt they, their, their market was in the mid-70s, mm -hmm. and they did youth it up because now their market is in the early 60s. Exactly. exactly. So, it's all relative. I did what I could. Exactly. <laughs> Well, thanks for taking your time to Thank spend you. time with me. I understand you do have something coming up. If you want to share the details about it and sure. uh, where and dates and so forth. Yes, well, the screening that's coming up is called Five Seasons, The Gardens of Pete Udolf. And Pete Udolf is a landscape designer uh, working very much with perennials. That's really his idea is to create perennial gardens such as the Highline Trail in New York, mm -hmm. uh, Millennium Park in Chicago. Uh, his work is that the idea of the plant is it's beautiful when it's alive and it's beautiful when it's dead. And there's this uh, really evocative way that he will create a garden and, and bring the public into it. The film is just this gorgeous film. I can't tell you all enough how pretty this film is. It's like a visual vacation for an hour and a half seeing uh, the most gorgeous, beautiful plants I've ever seen. I've shown hundreds of films, literally. Mm -hmm. uh, this is in the top five of something that you just literally walk in, frankly, turn your brain off, and enjoy everything that you just see. Just immerse yourself in it. Just uh, the, the most immersive, beautiful experience. I, I, I you know, the, the people who attended, and this is the second screening I've done okay. of this film. I actually brought it here about a year and a month ago for the landscape designers and landscape architects, um, specifically um, gearing it towards their organization. It was a great show, mm -hmm. but I think the, the result was the people who came who weren't, okay. uh, other than in gardening, were just excited as heck. So the film is uh, uh, Wednesday, October 30th, 7 p.m. Uh, the best way to find out about tickets is uh, nofestivalrequired.com. And where is the festival? Where is it going to be screened? Third Street in Moreland at the Third Street Theater at Phoenix Center for the Arts. Okay, got it. They have great parking there. To they have, yes. Great yes, parking yes. off the freeway, yes. so it's easy to get to. That's absolutely true. Well, thank you so much, thank Steve, you. for joining us and telling us about your organization and the wonderful film you're bringing. Thank you very much. So, if you have any questions about this great organization, about the film the film that's coming out later this month, about real estate, of course, or getting a home loan, give us a call at 602-252-4191. And also, if you know of a great 
organization that would benefit by a video, give me a call. Thanks for visiting us and see you next time. Make it a great day.